And welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon, another wonderful night. Time for bed. Oh, wait. I forgot to check my alarm clock. Uh, what time is it? Right, time for us to go right back to bed. Uh, let's actually set the alarm clock for, like, around 7 or so. So anyways, tomorrow... Oh, tomorrow the big field's coming, isn't it? We're gonna have plenty of room for crops again. And by that I mean trees. I kind of want to run to Vesta's farm tomorrow morning and grab some more, like... Uh, tree seeds and crop seeds that we can just randomly hybridize. Also, what event is this one? Hi, Cheddar. Did something happen? Cheddar? Oh, awesome. Huh. You actually helped out around the farm. I don't think I've ever actually seen that happen before. I'm not sure if that was actually in the original, but... I guess Cheddar actually watered all the crops for us while we were asleep. Maybe we should sleep in more often. Oh, wow. Yeah, he actually got every single uh, square, too. That's a potato. Good job, Cheddar. We're raising him right. Do I have anything I can plant here? Uh, not Bob. Definitely not Bob. Uh, let's plant a tomato. Did he get every single square? Yeah, he got every single tilt square, even the ones that don't have crops in them. Well, he's still learning, I guess. Well, good job. Is there any- Oh, that's fully grown grass. Let's grab that so uh, Cleo can have something to eat today. Because Cleo's currently, what is it, isolated? So it's probably going to be another, I'm guessing like, three or four days until she gives birth. Uh, while I'm at Vesta's farm, I might also grab some more fertilizer. Even though I think right now we have enough grass growing, but just to be safe, I don't want to run out of food again. We're still kind of in the crunch in terms of uh, how much fodder we have. I kind of wish I could grab those those uneaten things from the other boxes. I mean, Cleo probably wouldn't care if it was like partially eaten. I mean, it's hay. Nope. Oh, uh, oh well. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, so we don't have to take care of the crops right now. Actually, what time did Cheddar water them? Probably, like, early in the morning. So we're gonna need to water them a bit earlier than usual, I guess. Especially if we want Bob to grow quickly. Alright, Vesta, I'm here. Yeah. Um, yep, she's too busy working. Oh, uh, we're Celia. Wait, wait. Spring. Yep, spring. Ah, oh, never fails. Alright, let's grab a few things. I can't wish we could buy multiple things at once. So what did we hybridize it for? A banana and a peach, I believe? Alright, so let's try hybridizing an or No, we hybridized a grape and an apple. Did we hybridize? I think we did do a banana and a peach. Let's try an orange. Let's get two of... Oh, wait, that's right. We don't have money. Uh, never mind. I kind of forgot. I don't have money. We'll come back later. Actually, wait, what do I have on me? What could we try hybridizing? We can try pulling a potato... A potato? A tomato and a yam together. That could work. Or a melon and a yam. Or a uh, <clears throat> turnip or a yam. Or a... Oh, wait, no, no, not a carrot. That's right. Turn doesn't like carrots. He won't eat it. I always forget that. So yeah, let's just go hybridize a few things while we're waiting for our Tug Curra to get here. Gotta have plenty of new crops to plant. And then once he gets here with the money from yesterday, we can actually, you know, buy some more seeds. Alright, so tell me, what would happen if I put a tomato and a yam together? Something tasty, I hope. Probably not. What would a yam and a tomato taste like? Those are two flavors that don't really go together, do they? It's gonna be like a round but sweet potato. Or a tomato with the texture of a potato. Ooh. Oops. That does not sound good. Well, let's find out. Also, I'm not even sure if any of these crops will grow in spring. Oh wait, this one's fine. Yamato. Alright, we'll try playing that later. 
Uh, what else did we want to try? We want to try a, uh, yam and a turnip. They're two root vegetables. I'm sure they'll go well together. Actually, yeah, a yam and a turnip would actually probably go well together. All right, Tartan. Let's see what... Oop, I really need to stop accidentally hitting the desk. Uh, what do we got? It is a... Oh, that didn't go so well. So yeah, those two don't go together very well. Did I, oh, that consumed the yam seed. Oh well. Uh, how about a potato, or potato, tomato, and a turnip? Show me what you got. This is gonna be the last hybrid I'm gonna make today. Uh, other than like a tree hybrid later on. Because I want to see what happens when you combine an orange and an apple. An app. How would that sound? Abringe? Orple? Orple! We can make an Orple later! Alright, what do we have? Uh, please come out right. Nope, that one didn't come out right. Alright, we're done then. Uh, nothing right now. Let's talk a bit. Alright, let's go. We might hybridize a bit more later on. Uh, we will want to make at least an or- What? Why did I call it again? An orpal? I want to make an orpal later. Here, let's just go to bed for a while then. Oh wait, did I get the milk yet? I don't think I actually got the milk. Hi, Peanut. Yeah, let's actually grab the milk again. Uh, we kind of need that because right now we have no cash. And if I'm going to get that food processing room, we're going to need all the cash we can get right now. Hey, Truffle. Uh, Ron's asleep. Alright. Let's go take a quick nap. Todd Kerr should probably be back around, I'm guessing, around 3 or so. So, alarm clock. Uh, actually, I'll probably be back, like, around 1, but just to be safe, let's sleep until around 3. Time for bed. For, like, 2 hours. Don't worry, it's fine. Mommy just needs a nap. No, he's not back yet. Oh wait, I think the field gets installed like at the beginning of the next day. Cause yeah, he's back, but the field isn't here yet. Also, the crops need to be watered. Like, now. Oh, I was hoping we could get it today. Oh well, we can plant like in the morning then. Cause yeah, I do remember that buildings sometimes take longer than a day to get here. Which, yeah, I guess makes sense. Like, I wouldn't expect Takakura to be carrying an entire field with him on his back. Maybe he should. Alright, is there anything else I need to order right now? I don't think so. Let's go grab some seeds. Uh, I was hoping I could plant my trees today. Oh well. Also, when I get back, I need to water the fields and then, uh, what is it? I need to water the fields and grab my eggs. Also, we should probably check on Cleo at some point. She'll probably be okay. Just another few days until, until she gives birth. And then we can get some milk. Having two cows produce milk at once, that's actually really good. Alright, tell me about the springtime. Oh, you didn't tell me about spring for once. Celia, are you feeling okay? Uh, just give me an orange seed. And high trained, and an apple seed. As for the other hybrids, eh, we can just make them some other time. Also, while I'm here, give me 10 bags of fertilizer. Actually, no, give me tw I can't afford 20. Give me 15. Oof. Down to 125 gold. Actually, let me see something real quick. Is there any way we can get down to zero? No. No, nothing here is like a multiple of five. Darn. We could just grab like a few random seeds, but no, let's save the money. Let's not just randomly spend money on seeds. Although, seeds will pay back if it, or will, uh, 
We'll make back the money eventually off of seeds. You know, unless Tartan accidentally messes up and eats them. Anyway, speaking of Tartan, let's go make ourselves a new tree. I want to see an Orpal. Or whatever they call it in this game. I don't even know what season that would grow in. Hey, Tartan. Nope. Hybridize me. Alright, so let's see. Put an orange and an apple in your mouth. Where is the, the apple seed? There it is. Let's see what we got. Oh, I kind of wish I had some S-quality turnips with me. I don't know why it has to be a turnip in this game. Like, I know in, a, in like the original Wonderful Life it could be any S-quality crop. But for some reason they just limited it to turnips now. I don't know. Is there some special property of turnips in real life that makes them, like, really good for trees? Eh, I guess root veg- aren't root veg vegetables supposed to be somewhat good for the soil? Or is that the other way around, where they're not very good for the soil? Oh, an Oropho seed! Okay... Eh, while we're here. Uh, eat a tomato- no, don't eat Bob. Eat a tomato and an- Eat a melon and a turnip. I want to see what happens. We're just being a playing all mad scientists today. Also, I wonder if all this hybridizing is encouraging, uh, what is it, Cheddar to go into agriculture? I mean, most crossbreeds involve, like, breeding over time, but nope. Ours involves feeding our crops to a magical talking plant. Alright, what do we got? Did it come out right? Ooh, a Dillon seed! Ah... Uh, you know what? I want to try something. What happens if I mix a Yamato with a... Oops. A uh, Dillon. Let's find out. This is probably just going to screw up and I'm going to lose the... Uh, Dicon or Dylon. That's fine though. Like I said, I just want to. Oh, right, new music. I just kind of want to experiment right now and just see what I can grow. Alright, did this actually make something? Or did you just make a weird song and dance for no reason? Oh, wow, we got something new. Ah, uh, crap. I don't know what. What is that? Is that ginger? Uh I'm gonna name you Eugene. That's how I was Nope. Wait, can you only name them four letters? Darn, I was kinda hoping I could name you Eugene. That's a weird limitation. Ah. Uh, okay, so I need to think of a four letter name for this thing. I was gonna say Hank, but we already have a dog named Hank. Uh, you could be... Do we have a Phil yet? I think we have a Phil. It's hard to think of four letter names. I could just name it Jin- Actually, no, I can't even name it Ginger. Ginger is six letters. We have a Joan, we have a... We have a Ron. Do we have an Al? We don't have an Al. Sure for Albert. There we go. Well, we grew Al. What seasons can Al actually grow in? Uh, probably not spring, honestly. Yeah, summer only. Ooh, somewhat soil. Or, somewhat soil? Somewhat slow. I might want to stick a happy lamp, uh, on Al next season. Actually, we could just do it right now. We've been spending, like, the last few minutes hybridizing. It's taking forever, but you know what? Let's do it. We're experimenting. It's science. Alright, so here. Uh, stick Al and a happy lamp together. We'll just grow them in the big field this season. Also, come summer, I'm gonna need to grab like a ton of- Actually, no. We don't even need happy lamps any- Or not happy lamps. Gem soils. We're gonna st still need plenty of happy lamps. So yeah, once summer gets here, I need to remember to go and grab as many of them as I can find. 
because the ability to grow in any season is kind of super important. Especially when it comes to Bob. Yep. Alright, we're good. Alright, that was a lot of growing. I would put an, uh, what, an upseed on this thing, but I kind of want to save those for, like, all the Bob plants I've been growing. Also, while we're here, more fertilizer. Where's my fertilizer? Also, Takara, you did order the big field, right? I mean, we don't have the money anymore, so I kind of hope you did. And I didn't somehow screw it up by sleeping through the delivery process. Ooh, that would actually suck horribly if that was the case. I spent 20,000 gold on something that doesn't exist. Oh well. Maybe the workers will be here tomorrow. I kind of have a feeling that's what's actually happening when you order buildings. Like, you're ordering a, a worker to come and build it for you, because... I kind of doubt Takakura's bringing the entire building in from the city. It would be impressive if he did, but no, I don't think he is. Also, wait one second. What season does this grow in? There's a lot of fruit in spring. Alright, so that'll be ready by next year. Oh, we need to also remember to water it. Unless we can get Peanut to water- or Peanut? Oh my god, if we could teach our cow to water our crops for us, that would be amazing, but no. If we can teach, uh... Chatter to water our crops every single day. Yeah, it's a shame you can't, like, assign your kids uh, chores in this game. I mean, it would build character if you could. Could be an also, like, another way to, like, influence your child to see what field they would go into, but nope. Oh well. Still, Chatter's a good kid. Maybe he'll water them again tomorrow. Maybe if I sleep in a little, he'll water them again tomorrow. Also, since he's watering the crops now, I kind of wonder what his, uh, what is it? His skills are at. Because I think that means that his, uh, farming skill is a lot better right now. We'll find out in a second. First, let's grab some milk. Thank you. How much milk are we getting a day? Like, four balls every time. Whoops. Two. Three. And four. Yeah, four bottles. Hi, Cheddar. Peanut. For some reason, I keep getting Peanut and Cheddar mixed up. Maybe I should have named my kid Peanut. Although, uh, actually, you know what? What would be a worse name for a child? Peanut or Cheddar? Honestly, probably Cheddar. Then again, you could just shorten it to, like, Chet or something. That's a somewhat regular name. Peanut? Oof. Peanut might work as a girl's name. You can just short to, shorten it to, like, P or something. Or, actually, no, you can't shorten it to Nut. Alright. Well, anyways, let's go ship everything and then probably head to bed. I just want my big field, alright? Hopefully I'll be in tomorrow. Oop, nope. For my egg and an egg. And then I don't think I actually want to ship any of my crops. Nope. Oh, I thought I had two carrots. Darn it. I was going to try making soup right now, because I want to save that carrot for curry later. But I need root ve Actually, wait. What happens if you just stick two potatoes together? Because technically, I think the... Oh, hey, Hank. Uh, what is it? The recipe for... Har or whatever it's called... Harvest soup or something? Technically, I think it's only like two root vegetables. Here, you know what? Let's find out. Oh, sorry, stone soup? I keep forgetting what that soup is called. Also, did Cheddar just eat something? Huh. Alright, so what happens if I just stick two potatoes in here? No, that did not come out right. You know what? Here you go, trash can. Oof, so it has to be two different crops. Good to know. Hi, Cheddar. Alright, let's just head to bed. We shipped everything. Uh, is it gonna rain soon? Nope. Hi, sweetie. Alright, so... Hi, Mirror. I didn't mean to look at you. I want to look at my assets. Uh, let's see. So, Cheddar. Yeah, he's getting pretty good at farming. And surprisingly at science and animals. Alright, now he's developing. Good for him. 
Time for bed. Uh, what's my alarm clock set for? Not three. Let's not get up at three in the morning. Let's get up at like a little before seven. Still no happy dreams. Maybe I should watch more TV. Maybe TV will make me more happy. No, Takakura still is not back. That field is coming, right? I'm starting to get kind of worried that that field is never coming. Uh, maybe it'll come this afternoon. Hi, Hank. Also, Chair did in the water of the crops today. Oh well, we're gonna have to do it. Ooh, but yeah, I kind of hope that field comes today. Otherwise, I'm gonna be super worried that we spent- we wasted 20,000 gold on nothing. Maybe Takura is just cheating us. He just took the money and gambled it away or something in the city. I mean, we don't know what happened in the city. Actually, no, we came from the city, didn't we? So I guess we would know what happened in the city. Either way, that field is better get here sometime soon. Also, Bob is growing nicely. I think I'm going to sell one of the Bob crops and then turn the other ones into seeds. And then plant those seeds in the big field. And then just keep going at, uh, was it, infinitely like that? Basically, I want to cover the entire big field with Bob. And maybe a bit of Al. And trees. Although to do that, we're going to need happy lamp. We're going to need a whole lot of happy lamps. How many happy lamps do we have right now? 17. Yeah, that's plenty. Still, I do want to make sure we have plenty once, uh... Oh, wait. I see grass. Oh my god. Okay, I think the famine times are over. Yeah, we have grass now. I am so happy about the grass. Let's cut down a bit of it. I think the animals have been eating, uh, like, the partially grown grass, judging by the fact that none of them are unhappy and they're all pretty good and healthy so far. No one's sick. Ooh, whoa. That only two balls of- ooh, that's only two balls of milk. Peanut might not be eating. Uh, let's just leave this grass out here for them to snack on then. Maybe I shouldn't have cut down so much. Actually, you know what? The safest thing to do right now would be to bring them inside so I'm sure that they're eating. Because, yeah, two balls of milk is not good. That probably means Peanut is starting to get a bit malnourished. Here, everyone inside. Let's just make sure you guys eat. How much fire do we have right now? Whoops. Oh, we only have one left. In that case, let's give it to... Yeah, we'll give it to you. Well, you seem like you're okay. Huh. It might just be because she's starting to reach the end. No, she's not reaching the end of her milking cycle yet. Maybe we just milked her at a weird time. Because, yeah, two balls of milk is unusual. And it's only egg quality, too. Are you okay, Peanut? Maybe we should bring them inside tonight so we're sure that they'll at least eat something. Now I'm kind of worried about Peanut. Here, I'm going to go take a quick nap so that the field will get here, hopefully, this afternoon. Uh, let me see something real quick. How's Peanut doing? No, she is healthy and happy. I think we just milked her at a really weird time, apparently. Okay. Alright, let's get her back, like, around a bit past two. Also, I think I'm going to head into town today, see what's going on. Oh, I also need to head to, uh, what is it called? The dig site at some point. We still need to find that tablet piece for the chapter. I might do that like later in the spring. Right now we're kind of working. Oh! Oh, it's here! I want to see. Oh my god, it's beautiful. So yeah, this is the most, most uh, fertile sealed ever. Pretty much anything you get will be able to grow here. Provides the right season all that stuff, but uh... Yeah, we're going to be making use of this field. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, let's go see the new field. It's 
so nice being able to see the field again. All right, so let's see what we can plant right now. Uh, we have our trees. I'm probably gonna stick to trees. Actually, you know what? We could, hmm. Yeah, once he's finished growing, I'm just gonna stick to trees over here instead. We're not gonna be able to get the crops done next season, or next season, next year anyway, so yeah. I think from now on, the big field is just gonna be my main, like, crop field, and the rest of the field are just gonna be, uh, what is it? Trees. Sounds like a plan, because yeah, we're not gonna be running out of room anytime soon. Alright, so what do I actually have on me? Five tomatoes, an owl, tree, melons, those are summer crops. Alright, let's plant. Where is my hoe? Wait, where's my hoe? Oh, there it is. So, actually, yeah, let's plant all the uh, tomatoes. So, that's five. And then this last one's just gonna be Al. I don't think I have any watermelon or anything I can plant. That's the tree. Tomatoes. Here we go. Also, I need to water these. The only problem with the big field is that it's kind of hard to tell when the soil is, like, really dry. Just because it's so dark and fertile that, uh... It's kind of hard to see when it's, like, really pale versus when it's really wet. I mean, you can tell. There you go, Al. Is there anything else you can plant right now? Or we could just stick the trees in the back. You know what? Screw it. We're not going to be using all this, uh, what is it? This entire field anyways. Let's just put, like, my trees back here. So one here, and one here. So this one's gonna be the Orapuku, or whatever it's called. And this one's gonna be the, uh, not the Bob. The Magnarum. I don't even remember what this was. I think that's a grapple, or a grapeful. It's the apple and the grape together. Also, is this field already watered? Is that why it's already so dark? That's a fishing rod. You do not walk across with fishing rods. Most of the time. Huh. This soil seems to be already... Is it raining? Or did they build the field and then just soak it in water for one day? Well, let's just be sure and make sure everything's nice and wet for now. Yeah, I think this field... Oops. I think this field was already watered beforehand. Weird. Either that or it started raining I didn't notice. No? Looks okay. Where are the animals? Oh wait, they're inside the barn still. I thought I'd let them out. Or the Todd Kura bring them back inside. Maybe. No, wait, no, I never did let them out again, did I? For a second there, I panicked and thought my animals had all disappeared. Because honestly, I would not put it past this game to glitch out and kill all my animals. Or not kill them, but make them just stop existing. That would be horrible for the farm. We kind of need all those animals. They're kind of my main source of income right now. Well, Pina is my main source of income right now. Eventually, Cleo will be too. In, like, probably another few days. Actually, no, probably like a month. Because we also need to get through that, like, mother's milk period. Anyways, I'll go check on them in a second. How's everyone doing in here? Any golden eggs today? Nope. Wait, no, I spoke too soon. That's a golden egg. How about you? Golden egg? No. Normal egg. How about you? Golden egg? Yes, golden egg. We got two golden eggs today. Alright, let's go see if Peanut's good again. Hmm. I might cut down a bit... Yeah, let's cut down a bit more fodder. Why not? Uh, I can't wait for those, like... 50 bags of, of uh, fertilizer I used to basically all take into effect at once. It's gotta be any day now. Like, today's the, what, the 5th of spring, I think? What is today? Yeah, spring day 5. Ooh. Hi, Peanut, you need a bath. Here, you know what, let's bring everyone outside in a minute. Also, yeah, you know what, Dizzy? You kind of deserve some food for once. Yep, 
Yeah, let's actually go bring Peanut outside real quick and give her a bath. But first, how are you doing, Cleo? Uh... Few more days. Awesome. I did not realize she was that dirty. And then we'll just put them inside again for the night. Uh, where are you? Wait, you know, where are you? Here you are. Come on. Off to the water. I kind of wish you could put them in the pond and bathe them there. I mean, it's still water. Although, the water over here might be a bit cleaner. Considering that pond, I'm pretty sure it's stagnant by this point. It's not really flowing or anything. It's just kind of sitting there. There you go, Peanut. Nice and clean. Here, I'll give you a brushing too. Alright, let's grab that mi- Oh. Of course you fell asleep just as I was about to milk you. Uh, Peanut, please wake up. Please wake up. Oh, good. Come on. Give me- Okay, good. I guess we did just milk her at a weird time. Either that or yeah, she was starting to run out of food. Oh well. Well, we got the milk. Here, let's bring them inside for the night just to make sure they eat again. Because now that we're starting to get more fodder, we should be good. Also, wow, Dizzy already ate that. I guess he hasn't eaten for a few days. Judging by how quickly he went through his food. And how he's sticking his face in it right now. Oh, but I'm so glad to get the big field now. Now we have plenty of room to... to uh, oh, whoa, that was loud. To, uh, what is it? To grow plenty of bob plants. And then the rest of the fields can now be just dedicated to trees. Also, gem soils are now kind of pointless. Well, they're not pointless, but I don't really need them anymore. We could just sell the entire batch of flowers to Van, but no. Uh, we might as well keep them just in case. Oh, I was going to go to town today, wasn't I? But then I got busy with a field. We'll go to town tomorrow morning. Yeah, we'll go to town today. Why not? Wait. Oh, Cheddar, did you do it? Hi, Cheddar. Tell me, boy. What have you done today? This pleases me. Anyways, oh, I'm so glad Cheddar is helping out now, unlike Marlin. Actually, yeah, you would think Marlin could at least help out with the crops, considering he was working at a farm uh, before we married him. Oh, well. I guess his health does come first. But yeah, good work, Cheddar. Did you get all every single field? Yeah, this one's good. Yeah, let's just double check his work just in case. It's not that I don't trust him, but... No, yeah, everything... Cheddar? I believe you missed some spots. Uh, oh, wait, no. That's not how you wire props. Uh, did he wire these trees? I don't think he did. Nope. Well, he tried. Still, he is... Yeah, that's still a lot of crops to... Oh my god. The grass is ready. Everyone outside. It's beautiful. Oh, look at all that grass. I didn't grab the money from yesterday, did I? I'll go grab that in a second, but oh my god. We have food again. The famine is over. Everyone, eat up. I'm still gonna buy more fertilizer next time I'm over at Vesta's. Cleo, Cleo, good news. You don't have to worry about starving to death anymore. We have food again. Ah, uh, but I'm so glad that the grass is fully grown in now. Still, we should probably keep expanding the field until we're completely full. Considering we're gonna have like two new animals soon. Oh, speaking of two new animals, today's a six already, isn't it? Maybe we should start saving up some more money. Actually, no. We only need, like, 4,000 for the goat. Oh, I also didn't get the milk yet.
Because, yeah, that was it. Fans coming on the 8th, and I'm going to get that goat. I don't care how much it costs me. I kind of hope we can haggle it down. I think you can get down to, like, around 2,000. Also, Pina, are you feeling okay? Like, you're maxed out of fetching right now. How are we only getting, uh... A quality milk. Are you alright, Peanut? Are you getting sick? Actually, I think it's because uh, it's starting to get into late spring. So, yeah, I guess the summer heat's starting to set in. Or it's gonna start settling in soon. Oh, but look at all this beautiful grass. Who would have thought grass would have been, like, the most... I was gonna say most beautiful, but, like, uh, one of the more important crops in this game. Oh, potatoes done. Are all these potatoes done? No. Watermelon, tomato, watermelon, watermelon. Actually, I'm not gonna plant anything there because eventually I'm just gonna root out all these crops and replace them with trees. Probably hybrid trees because I think like trees will be able to grow in any type of soil, unlike normal crops. Anyways, let's just take a quick lap around town see what's going on. Anything interesting going on in town right now? Not really. I think everyone's at work. In work? At work. Oh! There's Gustafa. Let's keep befriending him. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Let's see. My goddess drop. It's my last one. Let's see. Cody is not around. Is he? No, he's... No, oh, there he is. He's working. Oh, no, he's not working. He's just kind of walking in the trees right now. Cody, are you okay? Uh, what trick flew? Oh. All right. Let's head over to Vesta's farm real quick. I want to grab a few more bags of fertilizer just in case. I know right at this point I think we're okay in terms of grass growth, but I don't want to run into what I had to do last winter again. Wait, there's an event over here. Oh. Well, I think we get this event because we're, uh, what is it, pretty good friends with Galen and we befriended Nina while she was still alive. Well, I'm depressed now. Well then, let's go see what Galen is up to. I don't think he's home, actually. Oh, Nina. Time doesn't really wait for anyone, does it? Hey, oh, hi, Dr. Hardy. I didn't think you would be here. Uh, do I have anything I could give you? Not re I don't have any wild crops on me. Uh, want some milk? No. Alright, let's go. Well then. I was kind of hoping for a happy event, but gotta take the ha sad with the happy. Let's just grab some fertilizer and then we'll call it an episode. If I could find someone who worked here. Here we go. Oh, wait. Nami, you don't work here. Nami, what are you doing here? Uh, sure. Want a trick clue? We might as well befriend Nami. Why not? We can always use more female friends. Who aren't either Celi or Celia, a robot, or... 80. We don't really have a whole lot of female friends, do we? Also, why do I always call her Celia? I think it's Celica. Actually, no, it is, it is Celia. Never mind. You know what? Just give me 10 bags of fertilizer, and then I'm just gonna go home. 
But yeah, now that I think about it, we should probably befriend more of the town females, shouldn't we? I mean, we've befriended two of the bachelorettes already. Why not befriend the last one? Shame none of them ever get married. I mean, they have rivals, technically. Celia won't ever get married because we took her rival, but... You would think at some point Rock would marry... Muffy. And then, uh, what is it? Gustafa could marry Nami. Because for some reason, Gustafa is your rival for Nami. Actually, rival isn't even the right term. They never get married. But anyways, with that, I think it's time to call it an episode. So, hey Hank, uh, next time on Let's Play Harvest Moon Another Wonderful Life, the goat. Maybe. Yeah, we're gonna get the goat. Screw it. I don't care what I have to sell. I am getting that goat for about a year before selling it. So, till then.